my Patreon page. Uh, I'm your host Shaheen, and um, my Patreon page is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green. If you want to support me, come join me on my Patreon channel. That will I'll uh, really appreciate that. Uh, in in uh, today's video, we are going to uh, discuss uh, Dow Jones uh, S and P 500. We'll uh, also analyze British pound, euro, uh, silver, gold, and crude oil. If you guys benefited from my previous analysis and if you guys liked it, uh, please uh, give me, uh, give me a thumbs up on this video. And uh, I read every single comment that you guys post. Uh, I might not answer it at some times, but if it's a technical question, I definitely try to answer that. So let's start our tonight today's analysis. First of all, uh, you guys are well aware of it that uh, I'm bearish on, on Dow Jones and S&P 500. I'm also bearish on world indexes. Uh, because most of the world indexes actually follow uh, US uh, stock market and I'm expecting right now that we have completed the top of a very important uh, impulse uh, cyclic uh, bullish cycle basically and we are at the beginning of the early stages of the bearish cycle so I'm expecting that we are going to be in the bearish uh, side of the market for a very good while uh, I've noticed in the last uh, 20 years uh, or so you are supposed to be uh, in the bearish at some time, but every time we fall down, uh, we have seen uh, prices being pushed up. So I have, on, as far as the long-term analysis or the the forecast is concerned, I have very interesting um, analysis on that. But we'll discuss that later. For now, we are discussing this uh, the start of it, uh, this particular wave. So I'm considering that we have only completed the bearish market recently, uh, starting from this top. And I'm considering that we are considering this can consider this as wave one and this as a B and C structure uh, or double three structure where first wave is a zigzag the second wave is a zigzag and wave C is an expanded flat we can also consider it as wave one and two and one and two both things are possible the point here is that we are close to the creating the top right now not only we close to it but we I guess we have uh, probably completed that and it's evident from the support line being broken of wave C of the expanded flat Give, uh, giving an indication if even if you're not aware of the, the Elliott wave analysis is still giving us an indication that we have uh, been not able to create a new high beyond this one for a good while and we have created a double top uh, f below that level and this is pretty significant thing giving us an indication that we have created a high a low a lower high a lower low and a lower high right now so giving us an indication in terms that we are a technical analysis telling that we are strongly bearish on the side right now and uh, I have been of this analysis for a good while right now we have seen some price movement uh, on these price bars have been really good indication that we have seen the bearish move already started so I'm right now bearish and next few weeks are going to be uh, very bearish for uh, Dow Jones and S&P a uh, similar pattern that we are seeing in S&P only thing is that we can clearly see that uh, here we don't have a 1 2 and 1 and 2 we can s clearly see the double top is formed and we can consider it as wave A of a double mm, double 3 pattern wave B of double 3 and wave C of double 3 where wave A is a zigzag wave B is a zigzag and wave 3 wave C is an expanded flat we have not only seen completed that pattern uh, we have also broken the support line covering the wave C of the last expanded flat or you can see that the prices have bounced off the double top as well these double pot mm, tops were formed um, just below the the highest price that we have seen and this is a lot of time period as far as accumulation is concerned if you look at the whole time period right over here this time period in accumulation in terms of days is quite a bit high indicating that the next move should be a larger degree move because the the time duration for this one to this one top is quite a bit giving us indication that is going to generate a lot of bearish price action and that's what I'm expecting right now uh, that we are be going to be bearish in S&P 500 and Dow Jones uh, British pound uh, once again we have uh, I was bullish on uh, British pound we have not seen the prices to go in the terms we were expecting it to so it leaves us that I'm still bullish on um, British pound we I'm expecting that we have seen a double bottom forming and right now I'm expecting for the prices to give all, all the day at the top 
uh, but before it can do go, uh, it can go on the top we need to have confirmation that this particular wave is complete it's not going to go all the way down right over here uh, so for that we need for the prices to definitely cross the support line this is the support line that was actually supporting the structure downward and as far as the horizontal support is concerned uh, this horizontal support or a resistance for the prices to go up is very very important so two very important signals uh, needed to be confirmed before we can actually take a trade for British pound. We need to cross the support right over here and this one. And then probably uh, a pullback would be an ideal to go along right over here for British pound. In next few days, trading days, I'm expecting uh, British pound to be bullish. And in next few weeks, I'm expecting that we will still be seeing um, British pound to be quite in the bad, in depth right over here. As far as uh, Euro is concerned, Euro is completely different. Uh, we were expecting Euro to create a, a move right over here. I believe that move is not going to happen is because uh, we have seen the price movement right over here. When prices were trading right over here, I gave you guys indication we were going to go all the way right over here. It looks that the correction is complete right now. This is the problem with the patterns. It does not give you an extent of how far the correction is going to be. Uh, but I did that assumption under, understanding that we were close to the historical lows and I'm expecting that we are going to see a deeper price movement. But definitely it did not happen. So where does it leave us? Theoretically we have seen an impulsive move downward. We have seen the completion of the correction right over here. And we have seen an impulsive move downward. I'm expecting that we shall see some sort of correction and we shall see some bearish price movement downward. We do need to understand that there is we are very close to the uh, the bearish price movement that actually started right from over here. So I, the, the reason I keep on seeing is that because a lot of time when prices are, uh, the wave structures are very close uh, on such a high degree, they tend to create a lot of truncation. They tend to create a lot of drama and that's what I'm expecting in, in Euro. As far as myself is concerned, I'm going to leave Euro alone and I'm going to wait for two, three weeks for to clear it, this structure. Uh, now I'm expecting that the prices actually can go beyond that pass right over here by I in that case if the price goes beyond that part right over here I shall be keeping my stop loss right over here because a lot of drama is expected in this range if you still are insistent in in, in trading in Euro I'm expecting that we this shall actually follow some corrective pattern as soon as the corrective pattern is complete in next I, I would say uh, about five to ten trading days we should see at least one more impulsive move downward but uh, keep in mind that truncation is a very cruel uh, thing especially with the wave structures that are about to end on a such a larger degree uh, we have seen dramatic price action in gold uh, a lot of you guys are aware of it I'm referring to uh, this particular drop you were expecting it to very deeper but we have only seen part of that so a lot of things can happen when the prices are expected to the wave structures are competing on a larger degree and that's what I'm warning right right now as far as <coughs> theoretical analysis is concerned we should see a corrective pattern and an impulsive move downward this corrective pattern can actually go on create this wave like this which is a flat correction right we have seen right over here or it can actually create a zigzag pattern both things are possible next couple of weeks are expected to be uh, moderately bullish for euro things are looking more clear uh, and finally finally we are seeing uh, prices to come out uh, out of the range that we have seen going on for a very very good while first we have seen the bearish price movement right from the top but then this particular range was killing us and we have seen now the view that the price in silver is coming out of it so I believe that we have created a bottom right over here I indicated to you guys that this range uh, let me give you guys once we're looking at it that this particular range is very very important for the price support and that's exactly what happened I believe that we have created a bottom right over here and we have seen a correction right over here we should actually carry the prices upward and that's the area I'm looking for the first thing that we want to clear <coughs> excuse me the first thing we want to clear in in um, in silver is the previous top right over here so this top is essential I'm expecting that prices would be able to actually clear this top 
and then we'll discuss some more so I'm bullish on I was bullish on silver and I'm still bullish on silver and I'm expecting that the next week is going to give us some more strength in the price of silver gold is also finally able to come out of this whole uh, it looks like it's coming out of this whole side price movement we have seen a bottom forming right over here in gold and I'm considering this as a corrective pattern and we have seen a lot of small impulsive and corrective waves it looks that we are finally out of it it's Friday and that's what uh, uh, you know a little surprise I'm expecting that next week we should be seeing bullish price action in, in gold and this should actually continue on all the way right over here I'm expecting that the top will be taken out um, but there is a surprising price action that expected right after the top and we'll discuss more that uh, when we reach at the top for right now I'm uh, focusing on bullish price movement in in, in gold and I'm expecting uh, for prices to cross 2070 and probably be in range and 2100 and we'll discuss more that uh, crude oil is at a very very interesting stage I have uh, changed my analysis for crude oil a bit uh, give me thumbs up if you guys uh, took this trade on the bearish side of crude oil uh, I'm expecting there is a possibility that we have completed the uh, one part this whole price movement has completed right now uh, the reason I'm expecting is that because the price is jumping off the double uh, bottom is a no-no for a continued bearish price action is a big no-no the prices should be able to continue uh, if you are expecting for the prices to all go right over here uh, if the prices are jumping in this area and we have seen quite a decline in it uh, that means that our previous uh, wave structure needs to be revised and right now I'm considering that this is wave one two three four a triangle four is a triangle and fifth is complete right over here so I'm considering this as a wave first in wave and it's complete and I'm considering this whole price movement as wave A and wave B and wave C which is going to be a flat correction uh, so this is what right now I'm expecting in in terms of uh, crude oil I'm expecting that crude oil is going to be bullish for next few weeks to come uh, at least next few trading days to come so it's going to be interesting in looking at crude oil I'm expecting if you are bearish and uh, then as per my analysis you should be actually getting out of the trade uh, I would not be bullish till actually prices have come out of this support zone and give us a, an impulsive movement and a corrective movement on a smaller time frame and that will give us an indication that we are ready to go up right now I'm going to be bullish on crude oil for next few trading days to come wish you good luck with your trading you come join me on my patreon which is patreon.com forward slash Elliot Wave Green I'm your host Shaheen